Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. So, I am Priyanka Singh, your science teacher. Today, I am here to start with the class 8 science chapter number 17 that is stars and solar system. So, let's start this topic. The vast space containing our earth and all other heavenly bodies also called as celestial bodies constitutes the universe. The celestial bodies that form the universe include galaxies, stars, comets along with the members of the solar system. With planets, asteroids, meteors and satellites. The earth is a peculiar planet where both microscopic and macroscopic plant and animal life exists. The astronomers worldwide along with the scientists at NASA. National Aeronautics and Space Administration USA are trying to find the existence of life on the other planets and celestial bodies but have not yet succeeded. So, this is the picture of the universe consists of many celestial bodies. Sky at night Observation of night sky On a clear night, when the moon is not visible in sky, go out in an open ground or onto the roof of your house and look at the sky. There, you see small twinkling luminous objects called stars. Identify a particular group of stars, locate its position with respect to your position. Observe the same for 7 consecutive days. Record your observation. It is observed that stars have a particular pattern of their positions in the sky. That is why in ancient times when there were no watches or clocks, stars were used in keeping time at night and in finding the directions. The knowledge of their positions was of great importance to navigators and travelers at night time. Distance in the universe Stars and planets are separated from each other by very large distances. The two nearest neighboring stars may be close of kilometers apart. Such large distances cannot be conveniently expressed in kilometers. The most commonly used unit for expressing distances between heavenly body is the light year. The distance traveled by light in one year called one light year. One light year is equal to distance traveled by light in one year into number of seconds in one year. Galaxy a galaxy is a large collection of stars. The sun is just one among the many billions of stars that make up our galaxy known as the Milky Way. The two common shapes of galaxies are spiral and elliptical. Some galaxies are of irregular shapes. Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. We see it as a bright band of stars as we are looking inward from the edge of the galaxy. There are about 100 billion galaxies in the universe and each galaxy contains about 100 billion stars. So this is the picture of the Milky Way galaxy. Solar system. The sun and the celestial bodies which revolve around it form the solar system. These bodies may be planets, comets, asteroids and meteors. The system mainly consists of the sun, the eight planets and their satellites or moons and other smaller heavenly bodies such as comets, steroids, meteors. The planets revolve around the sun in elongated oval shaped or elliptical path called orbits. These planets also rotate about their own axis resulting in the occurrence of day and night. The orbits have different sizes. The orbit of the Mercury is smallest and that of Neptune is the largest. According to their distance from the Sun, the eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The time taken by a planet to complete one revolution is called its period of revolution. This period increase with increase in distance of the planet from the sun. So student, this is the picture of our solar system, the sun and the planets. The sun. The sun is the largest and the heaviest member of the solar system. It is a huge ball of gases. 
mainly hydrogen. There is a massive nuclear fusion reaction taking place in the sun which converts the hydrogen gas into helium gas. This reaction is the source of the heat and light energy radiated by the sun. The outer surface of the sun has a temperature of nearly 6000 K. Its inner core is very much hotter. The sun is very big. Its diameter is 1.4 million kilometers. There are much bigger stars than the sun in the universe. One of the biggest stars is Betelgeuse. The planets. The word planets come from the Greek word meaning wanderer as they do not remain fixed in the same position. The planets revolve around the sun in their definite orbits and have no heat and light of their own. The stars on the other hand are the ones that remain fixed in the same position. The eight planets are divided into two categories, inner planets and outer planets. The four planets closest to the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are relatively small rocky bodies and are called terrestrial or Earth-like planets or inner planets. The next four planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are of gigantic size and mainly made up of gases. They are called Jovian or giant-like planets or outer planets. Some planets have moon or satellites revolving around them which are called satellite. In the night sky, planets appear as bright specks of light, much like stars. They do not twinkle. The stars show no visible change in their position in the sky. Why do planets appear bright? Planets do not emit light of their own. They appear bright like stars in the night sky because they reflect light from the sun. The planets are closer to us than the stars and therefore the light coming to us from the planets is generally bigger and brighter and hence do not appear to twinkle. So it's time for an extra mile. The planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn are quite bright and can be seen with the naked eye. The other planets namely Uranus, Neptune are very faint and can be seen only with the telescope. Uranus can sometimes be seen with the naked eye. Mercury, Buddh. This planet is nearest to the sun. It is the smallest planet of our solar system. Being closest to the sun, it is generally hidden in the sun's glare and hence is not visible. However, it can be seen as a bright spot of light during sunrise and sunset during a particular time of the year. This is the reason why even though it is not a star, Mercury is known as the morning or the evening star. The revolving speed of Mercury is the fastest of all the planets. It always projects the same side to the sun so that its one part always has day and is the hottest. The other part always has night and is very cold. It is yellowish orange in color. Mercury has no atmosphere. Mercury travels quickly around the sun, taking 88 days to complete one orbit. It spins on its axis very slowly. Mercury has no satellites of its own. Venus, Shukra. This is the next planet nearest to the sun after Mercury. This is closest to the earth. It is the brightest planet in the night sky since it is close to the sun like Mercury. Venus too can be seen just before sunrise and just after sunset. Venus is also called the morning and the evening star. The atmosphere of Venus does not contain oxygen and is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. Therefore, it traps sun's heat like a greenhouse. Venus is hotter, temperature about 480 degrees Celsius than the Earth but not as hot as Mercury. There is no evidence of life on Venus. It completes its revolution around the Sun in 225 days. Venus spins from east to west while other planets spin from west to east. It is silvery blue in color. Venus has no satellites. Earth, that is Prithvi. 
The Earth is the only planet in the solar system on which life exists. The conditions which are responsible for the existence of life on Earth are right distance from the sun so that it has the right temperature range, the presence of oxygen and water and a blanket of ozone. From space, the earth appears blue-green due to reflection of light from water and land on its surface. The plane in which earth's equator lies is called the equatorial plane. The plane containing the orbit of earth around the sun is called orbital plane. The two planets are inclined to each other at an angle of 23.5 degree. So, the axis of the earth is inclined to its orbital plane at an angle of 66.5 degree. The earth has one natural satellite, the moon. Earth revolves around the sun in 365 one fourth days. The earth rotates about its axis in 24 hours. Earth is at a distance of 15 crore kilometer from the sun. It has one natural satellite, the moon. Mars, Mangal. Mars is visible with the naked eye. It looks like a bright orange red star. It is also known as the red planet. It is similar to Earth in some respects. A day on Mars is only slightly lower than a day on Earth. It has an atmosphere and it also has seasons like the Earth, but they are twice as long as on the Earth. Similar to Earth, it also has ice at north and south poles. There is a belief that there might be some form of life on Mars, but conditions are not suitable for the survival of any life. There is no water on Mars, but there is water vapor in the air, which freezes into ice on poles forming ice caps. Mars has two natural satellites named Phobos and Deimos. Both are dark, dusty and irregular in shape. The radius of Mars is a little more than half of that of Earth. Its mass is about 10 times less than the mass of Earth. Jupiter, Brihaspati. Jupiter is the nearest of the four giant planets. It is the largest planet in the solar system. Its diameter is 11 times than that of the Earth and its mass is 318 times the mass of the Earth. After the Moon and Venus, Jupiter is the brightest object in the night sky. It can be easily seen with the naked eye. It looks like a bright star. There is no atmosphere on Jupiter. So, heat and light from the Sun reach its surface directly. The surface of Jupiter facing the Sun receives maximum heat and light. So, it is very hot temperature for 520 degrees Celsius. The other side of the Jupiter does not get any heat and light. This side is therefore cold. Temperature 175 degrees Celsius. Jupiter rotates faster than any other planet. It rotates once is less than 10 hours. It rotates once in less than 10 hours. The biggest spot in it is the great red spot which is like a storm measuring more than 17,000 miles across. It has faint rings around it. Jupiter has four large moons and dozens of small ones. These four moons are Lo, Europa, Ganymeda and Callisto. These were first discovered by Galileo in 1610. Saturn, Shani. Saturn is present beyond Jupiter. It appears yellowish in color. It has rings around it, which are small lumps of rock and ice moving around the planet at high speed. Saturn rings look magnificent and they measure 2,70,000 km across, which is more than twice the diameter of. These rings are not visible with the naked eye but can be seen with the help of a telescope. Saturn's biggest moon, Titan, is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Uranus, Indra. William Herkel discovered Uranus in 1781 with the help of a telescope. Uranus can sometimes be seen with the naked eye but not very easily. It looks like a bluish-green disk. It also has rings. 
around it. Its diameter is less than half of that of the earth. Its distance from the sun is nearly double the distance of the Saturn from the sun about 2.9 into 10 raised to the power 9 kilometer from the sun. The atmosphere is made up of hydrogen and methane. Like Venus, Uranus also rotates from east to west. Its most remarkable feature is that it has highly tilted rotational axis. As a result in its orbital motion, it appears to roll on its sides. 21 moons of Uranus have been discovered so far. Neptune, Varuna. Neptune was identified as a planet by the German astronomer Gottfried Gale in 1846. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It is mostly made up of gases, but at the center it has lush and rocks. Neptune has a ring system and eight moons around it. It's time for an extra mile. Uranus has a strange spin. Uranus spins on its side, unlike any other planet in the solar system. Astronomers think that this is a result of collision with the planet-sized object millions of years ago. Pluto After just 76 years of being discovered, Pluto, the small ball of rocks and ice, has been dropped by astronomers from the list of planets of the solar system. Now, it's simply the most famous member of the Cupio belt. A broad donut-shaped ring of objects that extend outward from just inside the orbit of Neptune, the most distant planet. The Moon A body that revolves around a planet is known as a satellite. The Moon is a natural satellite of the Earth. Out of the eight planets in the solar system, only Mercury and Venus have no satellite or Moon. Moon completes one revolution around the Earth in 27.3 days. It takes the same time to turn once about its axis. This is the picture of a moon. This is why the moon always keeps the same side towards the Earth. If you observe the moon continuously for several nights, you will note that there is a change in the shape of the moon every day. On some days, the shape of the moon appears to be perfectly round, while on the other days, it cannot be seen at all. The days on which the whole disk of the moon is visible is known as the full moon day or Purnima. After the full moon day every night, the size of the bright part of the moon appears to become thinner and thinner. On the 15th day from the full moon day, the moon cannot be seen at all. This day is known as no moon day or Amavasya. The next day, a small portion of the moon appears in the sky. This is known as crescent moon. Then the moon starts growing larger every day till the 15th day. On the 15th day, we are able to see the full moon again. The full cycle of going back to the full moon position gets completed in 29 days and 12 hours. This is the picture of the phases of moon. The various shapes of the bright part of the moon as seen during the whole period are called phases of the moon. Stars Stars are huge heavenly bodies which are extremely hot. Temperature 2 million to 5 million and emit heat and light of their own. A star appears to be twinkling and has a regular motion of its own. A star is formed when a cloud of hydrogen gas and dust called nebula is pulled together under its own gravitational attraction. As it collapses inward under gravitation, the gravitational potential energy of gas molecules is converted into kinetic energy. With increases in kinetic energy, the temperature rises. When hydrogen is hot enough, fusion reaction begins which leads to the radiation of light. The material at the center of the cloud becomes a star, while the leftover materials may form planets around it. Our sun is also a star. It appears bigger and brighter because it is much nearer to us than the other stars. It lies 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. The star nearest to the Earth after the sun is Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is about 4.3 light years away from the Earth. 
star appears to move from east to west. This is because the earth rotates from west to east about its axis. However, there is a star that appears stationary when seen from the earth. This is the pole star or Polaris or Dhruv Tara. The pole star appears stationary because it is situated in the direction of the earth axis. Constellations Many a times, certain groups of stars seem to form a recognizable pattern in the night sky. These patterns are called constellations. In India, terminology constellations are called nakshatras. There are 88 constellations. Some characteristics of constellations are All stars in a constellation remain in the same group. The shape of a constellation does not change. Constellations appear to move from east to west as earth rotates from west to east. Constellations are named after the figure they resemble. Some important constellations are constellation and Indian names. First one is Ursa Major or Great Bear. Vrihat Saptarishi. Ursa Minor or Little Bear. Laghu Saptarishi or Dhruva Matsaya. Scorpio. Vrishika. Fourth one, Orion or Hunter. Vaida or Mega. Fifth, Cassiopeia. Queen or her throne, Sarmishtha. Ursa Major. It is the constellation with seven bright stars. It can be clearly seen in the night sky. These seven stars are arranged in the form of a dipper, three stars in the handle and four in its bowl. That is why this constellation is also known as Big Dipper. This name is obtained from the word dipper, a utensil used in the olden days to drink water. This constellation is present in the northern sky. It can be clearly seen in the northern part of the sky during the month of April. Hence, also called summer constellation. The pole star, that is Dhruv Tara, remains at a fixed position in line with the two stars of Ursa Major. These two stars are called pointers because they point towards the pole. Ursa Major is also called Great Pio because the seven bright stars of Ursa Major along with several other giant stars form a pattern which resembles the shape of a beer. Ursa Minor It is also called the laser beer or little beer. This constellation also contains seven bright stars but they are less bright than those in Ursa Major. The stars are close to each other and appear to be in the shape of a little beer. The star at the end of the tail is the pole star. The arrangement of stars in Ursa Minor contains the pole star itself. Hence, it is also called pole star. Constellation This constellation is seen in the summer season. It can be seen in the northern hemisphere during the month of July. These are the pictures of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Scorpion this constellation also has seven stars and is also a summer constellation. The seven stars are arranged in such that they resemble the shape of a scorpion. This is the picture of a scorpion constellation. Orion. This is one of the most prominent and easily identifiable constellations. The arrangement of stars resembles a hunter. It has seven or eight bright star it has seven or eight bright stars the three middle stars represent the belt of the hunter the two represent the shoulder and the two lower stars represent the legs of the hunter the one middle star of the upper part present the bow of the hunter the prominent stars of this constellation are Battle Geese and Rigel. Battle Geese is also called Alpha Orion and is one of the 20 brightest stars in the sky. Rigel, which is the brightest stars in the Orion constellation, 
it is the sixth brightest stars in the sky the star sirius which is the brightest stars is located close to orion you can locate it if you imagine a straight line passing through the three middle stars of orion and look along this line towards the east cassiopeia this is another prominent constellation in the northern sky it is visible during winter in the early part of the night it has five stars which are arranged in the form of a distorted letter w or m leo aries Taurus and Virgo are some other prominent constellations. So, student, this is the picture of uh, Orion and a Cassiopeia. Asteroids, meteoroids, and comets. These are the celestial bodies which revolve around the sun. They are also members of the solar system. The asteroids or planetoids are very minor planets that are found in great numbers in the large gap in between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. These are made up of a large piece of rock or metal and rock. The biggest asteroid known as Ceres has a radius of 350 km while the smallest is about 100 m in size. Asteroid can only be seen through large telescopes. Comets Comets are heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun in highly elliptical orbits. However, their period of revolution around the sun is usually very long. When they are near the sun, due to the heat gases vaporize and form a head and a tail which is pointing away from the sun. This is visible because they reflect the sunlight. Many comets are known to appear periodically. One such comet is Halley's Comet, which appears after every 76 year. It was last seen in 1986. Some comets appear at regular intervals and are bright enough to be seen with the naked eyes. Meteoroids are minute planets that may not be seen even with telescope. These are of two types, meteors and meteorites. Meteors, shooting star. These heavenly bodies consist of small pieces of stones and metallic rocks. They travel at very high speed. When meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere, they get heated up due to air friction and become visible. They are seen as bright streaks of light in the sky. On a clear night, we can see many meteors in an hour. Meteorites. Most of the meteoroids fully burn up before they reach the lower atmosphere. However, few meteoroids reach the surface of the earth. The meteoroids which reach the surface of the earth are called meteorites. They may be large enough to make big craters onto earth's surface. Artificial satellites. The man-made objects that are sent into the space to orbit the Earth for some specific purposes are called artificial satellites. They orbit around the Earth much closer than the Moon. India has built and launched several artificial satellites. Aryabhat The first artificial satellite of India was launched on 19 April 1975. Thereafter, India has launched many artificial satellites. Bhaskaravan launched on 7 June 1979. Rohini launched on 18 July 1980. Apple 19 June 1981. SROS 3 10 July 1992. INSET 1A 4 September 1982. INSET 1B 30 August 1983. INSET 1C unsuccessful launch. Inset 1D 12 June 1990. Inset 2A 10 July 1992. Inset 2B July 1993. Inset 2C December 1995. Inset 2D 4 June 1997. Inset 2E 3rd April 1999. Inset 3C 24 January 2002. Inset 3E 28 September 2003. Uses of Artificial Satellites 
they are used for research defense and remote sensing they are used for weather forecasting they help in communication telephones internet entertainment etc they are used for locating mineral resources underground water and for land mapping so students it's time for readers digest now astronomers are scientific who study about universe and heavenly bodies solar system consists of the sun the eight planets and their moons thousands of asteroids comets and meteors stars galaxies and space make up the universe sun is the largest and heaviest member of the solar system mercury venus earth and mars are known as inner planets and jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are known as outer planets stars are celestial bodies that emit light of their own our sun is also a star star appears to move from east to west moon takes 27 days and 7 hours to revolve around the earth as well as to spin about its own axis so students it's time to take your leave we'll meet in the next class bye